Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see what do we mean by wrapper and how wrapper works and when do we use wrapper classes in Salesforce. But before getting started, if you like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So in the previous video, we brought the columns that the first name, last name, data data.com, all these columns were brought by us using the field sets. So user have to not again and again go to the code, go to the LWC component and add the columns. Any user or even any admin, even the admin person will be able to go and add the fields to the field set as far as his need. But if you see now, now this, uh, this columns is only showing the, the overall Latin data table is only showing the column, but it's not showing the data. For an example, for this particular account, I have three contact in the related list. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to create a, I'm going to bring the columns from the uh, field set along with that. Also, I'm going to bring the data, right? I'm going to bring the data and the field set together with the one function itself. I won't write multiple functions. I will just write one functions, which will be responsible to do everything. So let's get started. So if you remember from the previous video, what we did was we created a field set and we returned that field set in the form of string. We return the field set in the form of string. We got that field set in the form of string from here to here using get LDT, get data, get data in LDT. Once we have received it, we have en encapsulated or entered it inside the wire. So whenever the component will be reloaded, we will be able to get the particular only the field set. But now I want the data as well. So whenever like were the data the in the in few more previous video if you check okay to get the data we have to do it some way this is how we have to do so we have to if you have to get the data we have to return a list of the contact right i have to return the list of the contact to get the data because contact is uh, the data is nothing but stored inside the contact table right and it's not going to be one data but it's going to be multiple data so i'm returning list of contact but in the next function i just want field set and field set is returned in the form of string what if I want both of them together? I want list of contact and the string together as a return type of my function. So in that cases, if you do not know or if you cannot describe what kind of the data type your function is going to have, that's where you go and use the wrapper class. Wrapper class will help you to create a generalized return type and with the help of which you can return anything or any type of the data using in, in Apex. You can use any, you can return any type of the data as far as the need using Apex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a wrapper class, class, let's say wrap class. Once you do that, now as far as the need, I need two things. One is list of contact and another one is nothing but a string in order to return the field set. And another I need is a list of contact in order to return the data as well, right? So I'm going to create a public list of contact. On list this is one I need and the I will write get and set over here and the another thing that I need is string that is nothing but a string of field set so public string field set again I'm going to write getter and setter the ones that I've done is in order to app in order to make these variables available to this lightning component I have to also make them or enabled both of these variables. Now once that I've done, what I'm going to do is instead of using this function, uh, I am going to store this list of contact over here inside the query and I'm going to store it within this variable con list. Okay, in order to access this variable, I have to go to this class and from this, I have to create an object of this wrap class and then from the trap class, I will be able to access this variable. So I'm going to quickly create a variable or the object of this wrap class. Let's name it as wrap equals to new wrap class. Now I've created the object of this wrap class variable. Now once that I've done, I can use wrap dot wrap dot con list. So automatically this value of this variable, particular variable, the value or uh, this variable is particularly populated with this particular query. So I am able to get all the related contacts uh, where the account ID equals to this inside this variable. Now once I've got it, 
next i also want the field set as well again i have created a uh, object i will use this object wrap dot field set equals to in order to get the field set if you see json dot serialize i can get the field set from here itself right now the return type of this class the, uh, the return type of this function is going to be the complete wrap class itself so i'm going to completely return the wrap class and then i'm going to return the wrap itself so what i've done basically is that i've created one variable oh, okay so what i've done in overall is that i have created a one variable to capture the contact details another variable to capture the field sets right inside this wrapper class now i have created the object of this wrapper class and i have populated this variable with certain value like con list and also the field set once i have done this i have written the overall wrap which will include the co contact that i want and also the field set hence i have kept the return type of this function as wrap class the uh, the class that i have created the wrapper class that i have created it would be the return type of this function now this function is used inside my lwc component if you see i am using this field uh, this function inside my lwc component on the wire now in order to just get the data from this uh, to show the data on the screen what i am going to do is i am going to create a variable first of all i need to show the columns right i need to show the columns on the uh, screen using the field set so for that i am going to create a variable let's name it as column temp Let's do this and then I'm going to copy this and instead of data list I'm going to assign this to this so basically okay I'll just show you so what I'm going to do is inside the column stem from this data data will is going to return the complete wrap from this data I just want the field set right I'm just going to get the data dot field set so whenever a wire is going to fire if it's going to get the data from the data which will be the complete wrap I'm just going to get the field set I'm going to JSON parse it and assign it to column stamp. Column stamp is going to rotate it one by one, assign it to these items, and finally the columns will be created using the field sets. So column list will be available to you using field sets. Now, in order to get the data, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do it this way. This dot data list equals to data. Data will complete data will have the complete field set. Out of this field set, I just want con list. So I'm going to use data dot con list so let's check whether things are visible or not so the one function did okay so data is visible of course okay i'll just take the fee change the field set i will remove the first name last name and instead i will going to write the whole name itself let's save it Now, as you can see, I am able to see the name and the data. Like I was able to control the values of the columns using field sets, and also the data is also visible uh, respectively. So what I've done in short is that first inside the Apex class, I have created a wrapper variables, two wrapper variables, with one to capture the field sets, another to capture the data. Now I've created the object of this wrapper class, and then I've uh, and I've uh, inserted the contact data and along with that i've also inserted the field set that i wanted and once that is done i've written the whole wrap itself so now this wrap will contains the contact details along with that it will also have the field sets now once i've got it over here what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to capture it inside the gate data in ldt this function is firing whenever the wire is going to run so whenever the wire is going to run it's going to return the overall wrap which will consist of the contact data and the field set the ones that I've got the overall wrap, what I'm trying to do is from this data dot field set, from the overall wrap, I'm just picking the field set, converting it back to the object from the string. I'm converting back it to the object, assigning it to the column temps, and then I'm creating the structural format just like the columns. If you want to see what I've done over here exactly, I will provide the link in the video. How did I create the columns using field sets? Uh, I will provide the link in this video. So that's how I've done, and I finally I've assigned these columns to the uh, these items to the column list. So now my columns will be visible using the uh, field set itself. 
to bring the data what i've done is from this overall wrap that is data i've just pick up the contact list that is contact data and then i've i've assigned it to the data list and then data is showing it on the screen so this is how i'm using wrapper class in order to show different types of the data with the one function itself so if you found this video helpful please 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 subscribe to this channel